Hey everybody, it's Michelle for Scrappy Chic back again. Um, kind of with part two of coloring with distress crayons. Um, Tim did this technique in his video where he used distress spray, um, just the regular distress spray, not the oxide, the distress spray because it's translucent. And he sprayed over um, the stamped image that he colored with distress crayons to show that the distress crayons resist the spray. Um, and as long as you don't touch or smear um, until it dries, the distress crayon won't move. And he had mentioned that if you put your ink on your craft mat and put water and then dragged it like this, you would move the distress crayon. So um, I don't have my distress sprays with me where I'm filming. So I tried using distress ink on the craft mat with water um, and not dragging it, just tapping it. And it actually worked pretty well. So I wanted to show you that technique. That's what this one is. I colored this image and then just did that. I love the way uh, it looks like old antique worn paper. Um, and then you could certainly also spray water droplets um, and make it look even more worn. And I'll, I'll show you that after um, we do this. But what I did was I took uh, two inks here I've got weathered wood, and this time I'm gonna try frayed burlap. This was uh, brushed corduroy um, on this one. So what I'm going to do is smear some ink on my craft mat. So that's the frayed burlap. And then I kind of just went around with weathered wood, kind of give it, you know, a blend of some color. And then I took a spray bottle, my Distress sprayer, and sprayed some water in the colors. And then all I'm going to do is take this and I'm going to turn it over and smear it in the water. Now, just make sure that you don't drag it like this. You just want to lay it in, press it down, Get some of that ink on your paper. This happens to be a Dina Wakely tag that we did this on. And then I am going to actually spray some more water. So you can see how the ink goes off of the crayons and kind of goes over, you know, kind of spreads a little bit. So it's going to give you that really um, vintage -y worn look. Now, give me a second, you're gonna hear the the heat gun, I'm gonna dry it a little bit here and see to kind of show you. get the idea of how that's going to dry it probably <laughs> picked up a little bit of the green do you know wakely paint that I had on my craft mat um, but while that continues to dry I wanted to show you where you could also take this as it's dried and use your sprayer and kind of spray a little around the edges and let the water set for a second and then blot it off blotting not rubbing Let it sit for a minute. More blotting. And you can see, and you'll see it more when it dries too, that you kind of get that, oh, sorry, oh, that watermarked edge. And when it dries, you'll see it some more, but you can, sorry, geez. You can kind of see it here. So it's even more worn and, um, and distressed and vintagey goodness. All right, 
here. You can see it a little better right here. Isn't that awesome? I love the way that these products continue to um, react with water and um, as this continues to dry, you'll get that that vintage-y um, look where the crayon resisted the ink. I hope you'll try these techniques that we've been sharing with you. We'd love to see what you do. You can um, post pictures on our Facebook page. Um, we'd love to see what everybody's working on. Um, and if there are products that you need, Scrappy Chic is shipping. You can contact us at info at scrappychiclavonia.com. And uh, we'll look forward to when we can be back open and get everybody back in the crop rooms and sharing and, and uh, working together. Until then, though, stay safe.